Hello everyone. I am here again to discuss another topic in analytic geometry and this time I will be discussing hyperbola with center at point of origin or zero zero. I am your teacher Mr. Mark Anthony Laroya. So let us first define what is a hyperbola. Hyperbola is the locus of all points in the plane by which the absolute difference of whose distances from two fixed points, F1 and F2, and those are the foci, is constant. So let us consider these two curves of our hyperbola. And we have the two points, two fixed points, the F1 and F2, and they are actually the foci of our hyperbola. And then let's say, let us consider a point and let's call it point P. Let us now connect this point P with the two foci. Now, let's have another point. Let's say we have point Q. And then again, just like what we did in point B, we connect this point Q to the two foci. This is how we say that this is a hyperbola wherein the difference in the length of line PF1 and PF2 is the same as the difference of the distances or length between QF1 and QF2. And that is how we define a hyperbola. So let us now talk about the hyperbola with center at 0, 0. So at first, we have this type of hyperbola wherein the x-axis is our axis or transverse axis of our hyperbola. The standard equation would be x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1. So this is the standard equation of our hyperbola with a transverse axis, which is the x-axis, and the center is at 0, 0. As you can see here, we have the center, and then these two points are the vertices. A would be the distance between the vertex and the center. So from the center going to this vertex on the left side, we move a distance equal to A to the left. That is why from 0, 0, the coordinates of our vertex at the left side would be negative a zero and on the right side we move from the center to the right vertex of the hyperbola we have a zero and these two red points here are the foci of our hyperbola the distance between the center and one of the foci is equal to c so c is the distance between the focus and the center we can get the value of c using the equation c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Or simply to get the value of c, that would be c equals square root of the quantity a squared plus b squared. Now, the value of b will be the distance from the center up to these two points, or up to this point, and the one on this point that will create a rectangle. As you can see here, it is because through this rectangle, we can get the diagonals, the two diagonal lines, wherein it will become the asymptotes of our hyperbola. The, hy the, as the asymptote of our hyperbola, which is a decreasing line, will have the equation of y equals negative b over ax while the asymptote that is increasing or uh, inclining the equation will be y equals b over ax and again the transverse axis of our hyperbola will be the x-axis let us now solve a problem in hyperbola with center at 0 0 and with a transverse axis, which is the x-axis. 
Determine the coordinates of the foci and the vertices of the hyperbola with an equation of x squared over 16 minus y squared over 9 equals 1. So based on our given standard equation, it means that our transverse axis is the x-axis wherein our foci, the vertices, and the center are aligned horizontally or along the x-axis. So first, we can say that our a squared is 16. That is the denominator of our x squared. So that means the value of a is 4. And take note that a is the distance from the center to one of the vertices. While b squared is equal to 9, that means our b is equal to 3. So using the values of a squared and b squared, we can get the value of c, and that is the square root of the sum of 16 and 9. So the square root of 25 would be 5. That would be the value of our c. c is the distance from the center up to one of the foci. So let us now get the coordinates of our vertices. Since the value of our a is 4, so we move 4 units to the left to get the coordinates of our vertex at the left side of our hyperbola or the left side from the center, we have now negative 4, 0. And the vertex on the left curve of our hyperbola, we have 4, 0. And then we have now the foci, the coordinates of our focus on the left side, that would be 5 units to the left from the center. So that is negative 5, 0. And the focus on the right side, that means 5 units to the right from the center, you have 5, 0. Let us also include the equations of our asymptote. The declining asymptote now would be y equals negative b over a x. So we simply substitute the values of b and a. We can get the equation of our declining asymptote and that would be y equals negative 3 over 4 x. And the increasing or the inclining asymptote rather would be simply the positive or opposite of the sign of our declining asymptote that will simply be y equals 3 over 4x. We have now the hyperbola with center at 0, 0, but this time the transverse axis of our hyperbola would be the y-axis. So that means the center, the vertices, and the foci of our hyperbola are aligned along the y-axis. This type of hyperbola has a standard equation of y squared my over a squared minus x squared over b squared equals 1. So as you can see here, the first term of our standard equation is a positive term wherein that would be y squared over a squared. Now, points of our uh, vertices, the foci are aligned vertically as well as our center. That means the movement from the center to our vertices and foci, the movement is vertical upward and downward. So that means the coordinates or the y coordinate of our center will change. It's either we add or subtract by a to get the coordinates of our vertices and we either add or subtract C to get the coordinates of our foci. And now this time, we still have two asymptotes, a decreasing one and an increasing asymptote. This time, the decreasing or declining asymptote will have the equation y equals negative a over bx, while the increasing or inclining asymptote will have the equation y equals a 
over b x. And still, we can draw the asymptotes by doing a rectangle using the values of a and b. And the axis of this asymptote is the y axis. Let's now solve a problem in hyperbola with center at 0, 0 with transverse axis, which is the y-axis. Determine the standard equation of the hyperbola with center at 0, 0 that has a vertex at 0, 6 and the equation of one of its asymptotes is y equals 2x. So based on our given, the center is at 0, 0 and one of its vertices is at 0, 6 that means this vertex is above the center and they are aligned vertically. So that will give us the idea that our transverse axis is the y-axis. Since our vertex is 0, 6, that means it, the coordinates 0, A will give us the value for A equal to 6. This is the distance from the vertex to the center. The equation of one of its asymptotes is y equals 2x. Based on our equation of the asymptote, it is positive. That means this is the inclining asymptote of our hyperbola. And that will be y equals a over bx. So this time, we substitute the value of our y, which is 2x, to this equation of our asymptote. So we have 2x equals a over b x. Let us now substitute the value of a, which is 6, to this equation. So we will have 2x equals 6 over b x. And simplifying this equation, we will be able to arrive at the value of b, which is b equals 3. So we have now the values of a and b. We simply substitute these two values to the standard equation of our hyperbola with transverse axis equal to y axis, which is y squared divided by a squared minus x squared over b squared equals 1. So by substituting the values of a and b, we will arrive at the standard equation of, of our hyperbola, that is y squared over 36 minus x squared over 9 equals 1. So thank you very much for watching my video and I hope you learned something new about hyperbola. See you again next time for the upcoming video about hyperbola with center at HK. God bless.